Tips. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and cook with April on Tasty Tuesday with our taste tester Justin. <laughs> so today we're gonna make one of Liam's favorite cookies. They're called Madeline's or Madeline's potato patata, so it's okay however you say it. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and get started with the Madeline ingredients. They're also known as French butter cakes. So you'll need a Madeline pan. I found mine on Amazon because I couldn't find it anywhere else. One lemon to zest, flour, eggs, vanilla extract and salt, sugar, and melted butter. So let's begin by cracking our four eggs and placing it into a medium to large bowl and mix with a hand mixer or a stand mixer. Add your vanilla extract, add the salt and sugar. And let's go ahead and zest the lemon. You're gonna need about one tablespoon or less if you don't like that lemon flavor. Then you're ready to sift the flour and mix with your hand mixer or stand mixer. Then you're ready to add that yummy lemon zest. It's gonna add a little bit of that lemon flavor, kind of like a lemon cake. And then add the melted butter and fold that in. It was very, very simple to make. And I went ahead and I greased the Madeline pan and I spooned it in. And then you are ready to bake at 350 degrees for about 14 minutes. And this is how it turned out. The first batch I made was really brown. I kind of burnt it. So I just gave you the measure, um, I mean the time that worked for me, which is 350 degrees. And so that is how it looks like. Enjoy. We got our taste tester here and tell me why I only had him have one. Just kidding, just kidding. I was like, shouldn't we put a couple more on the plate for no, presentation we, purposes? We, we actually had some dipped chocolate ones for Liam's teachers and then regular ones like this for Liam and Justin and also for myself. Mm. So what do you think? I think they taste just like it. Like, you know the ones that you can get like at Costco mm. by that Don Sub... I don't know how to say it. You know, I think I that... Know. Really good, really mm -hmm. delicious. I, you know, is it is have Madeline's become like more of like a trendy thing in the last couple of years? I, I feel don't like. think so. Because I, I don't know. I, I feel like no I've been idea. seeing them more often, like in coffee shops and stuff. No, we just go to more, we just maybe, go to yeah, more bakeries. It is. But interestingly, I feel like the lemon flavor is a little mm -hmm. more prominent in mm -hmm. these than the ones you get in the store. Yeah, for and sure. I really like that. Maybe yeah. maybe you put a little more rind in it or something. Okay. okay. Really delicious. So I like, like it. Okay. Yeah, I do. Some I like that. Some people don't like that lemon flavor, so you don't have to add the lemon zest if you don't want to at all. But this is such taste a taste tester. Justin likes it. This is a perfect thing with coffee. I love it. It's not too mm -hmm. sweet. You can dunk it in. It's really delicious. Yeah. If you guys have never had this, you should really try it. Mm -hmm. And you guys check your oven settings because the first batch I made was a little burnt. And then the second batch was kind of brown, and then this batch is lighter. And also, it all depends. Do you like it crispy on the outside? Mm. Do you like it burnt on the outside? Because it's okay if you do. <laughs> I mean, I can teach you. <laughs> but, <laughs> but this is how it turns out when it turns out not so burnt. Yeah. And it's just so good. Liam loves he it. Does. He really likes it. And I feel good because, like, when I gave it to him, like, he didn't know that I made it. Like, he just thought that we got it at the store or something. And he that's just, a proud mom. He enjoys there, it. Right? Yeah. Right? It's like he doesn't know the difference, you know? <laughs> so that's good. Anyhow, thank you, friends, so much for watching. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time. Bye.